Um, another real distinctive uh, characteristic of your playing is when you solo using artificial harmonics. Uh -huh. um, maybe you could talk a little bit about um, not only how harmonics are produced on a guitar, but also how you approach it technically. Uh, well, I play it the same way as I play a single string solo, except I, I move the uh, pick from this pair of fingers, the thumb and the forefinger, to this here, and use the forefinger as a damping uh, finger, and that stops the string from from, from vibrating. Mm -hmm. that's, it, that's at the halfway of its effective length, you know. So uh, uh, to play, and also on an electric guitar, uh, a lot, of, a lot of times the node or the dead spot of the string comes over this, and it doesn't get any energy. So you should, if you have this, switch that in. I see. Instead, you know, and change your pickup. You mean? Mm -mm. Okay. So you're not using frets as your markers. Are you using different parts of your pickup as markers? Well, after, after you get up to, say, about where C would be on this guitar, mm -hmm. on the E string, uh, there are no more frets. So you have to have uh, some landmarks. OK. So I, fig you know, I figure then they're slightly different on different guitars. And on this one, I don't know exactly where it is, but I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> is this sort of a new instrument for you right now? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. It's a brand new Tal Farlow. <laughs> right. We'll be asking a little more about that you know, in a while, too. Right. Um, what about when you're playing and soloing with your artificial harmonics? Are you focusing only on your right hand visually, well, or are you I, looking I at both hands? I don't have to look at this hand. Right? Okay. I mean, I, I know what it's doing, so and uh -huh. I know where it's going, and I just visualize this as being up here and 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 following with the with the uh, deadening. It. What's happening is that you're dividing the string in half, mm -hmm. and it's dividing on it's uh, vibrating on either side of that dead spot, the, yeah. the node. So you're actually hearing two strings, an octave higher than the note, and that's what makes that distinctive harmonic sound. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, a little later on uh, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about your experiences with Lenny Bro, okay. who is uh, known for his harmonic work as well. Absolutely. Yes. You know. Yes, um, I, I speak very softly about harmonics when his name is mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> yes. yeah. um,